Is technology or innovation only about developing new experiments? Or is it about how many brains want uses to create unique and mind-boggling things worldwide that no one has ever seen? Elon Musk is one of them. From battery-powered electric cars to an all-in-one humanoid bot, Tesla CEO Elon Musk is on the verge of revolutionizing the concept of innovation. And with the sudden unveiling of the new Tesla hydrogen, the entire automobile market must be braced for a shift. Hydrogen cars are popular worldwide, and the next step toward evolution is speculated to overtake normal cars. What is the hydrogen car to be designed by Tesla? What is the potential they define, and how will it change everything? But first, let's dive into the video to know the details. Elon Musk surprised Twitter followers earlier with the announcement that, after years of skepticism, he will transition Tesla from batteries to hydrogen power in 2024. Musk previously referred to hydrogen fuel cells as full cells and described the technology as mind-bogglingly stupid. The quick turn is caused by terminal issues encountered during mass production of the 4680 battery. But later, his viewpoint was changed, and he said that electric cars would soon be overtaken by hydrogen cars. So why was Tesla's new hydrogen car made? Surprisingly, Tesla Model Y got converted into a hydrogen car showing off in Germany, and the primary objective behind the conversion was to showcase the green hydrogen value. The crossover was also known as the Hybrid Hybrid, and Tesla, the most popular electric vehicle worldwide, uses them to become advantageous. It is known that Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, was an advocate against hydrogen, and it was all because of its lack of efficiency compared to other battery-powered EVs. Model Y, a modified configuration, is one of the most highly efficient electric vehicles worldwide. However, after converting to the hydrogen vehicle, it became less efficient and is not that good for the environment. According to some reports, Germany's Federal Research Minister revealed that the hydrogen-powered Tesla Model Y is powered by synthetic methanol derived from green hydrogen. The end objective was to promote and produce the most efficient and eco-friendly vehicle possible. However, converting the Model Y to a car powered by a synthetic methanol engine seemed to contradict the goal. Instead, the project used the Tesla vehicle to draw attention to hydrogen, which some criticized. In the tweet, the expert explained how the methanol car works and how it provides opportunities for the technology to offer a climate-neutral future. The expert stated that the requirement of climate protection is rapid, and entry to renewable energy sources like methanol are building blocks. The series hybrid drive concept presented here comprises the advantages of efficient electric vehicles and the energy-dense and accessible synthetic fuel methanol. This concept will be optimized by the project. Besides conversion, Tesla is also planning to produce the latest hydrogen model. The Model H will be a vehicle in the crossover segment, which has become one of the most popular body styles currently in the market and will be sized somewhere between the Model X and Model Y. In typical Musk fashion, the Model H will include groundbreaking features, the most notable of which is Hindenburg Mode, which is based on SpaceX technology. This uses onboard hydrogen to provide a rocket-powered flaming speed boost, allowing the Model H to reach 60 miles per hour in 1.2 seconds. However, this will quickly deplete the range, which is WLTP rated at 451 miles with a more frugal driving style. The Model H will be a 5-seater with a 7-seat option, with prioritized occupant comfort on long journeys. Furthermore, the water generated by the fuel cell can be piped into the vehicle to provide passengers with cool drinks. A collection of classic films and documentaries, including Chain Reaction, Cold Fusion, Fire from Water, Element 1, and Dr. Teller's Very Large Bomb, will be included with the AMD Ryzen-powered entertainment system. Furthermore, both front and rear passengers will be able to participate in the Dyson Sphere program game. According to Tesla Insiders, the Model H will be followed in 2025 by the much-anticipated Model 2, which will now also run on hydrogen and have a 400-mile range in the form of a compact hatchback. According to reports, this will reduce the cost of hydrogen cars, which are currently more expensive to buy than EVs and more expensive to fuel than internal combustion vehicles. That is not the only model by Tesla, as they'll also introduce Model O. The Model O, the most daring member of Tesla's new hydrogen lineup, will arrive in 2027. This is Tesla's hydrogen-powered coupe, also known as the Oatster. It'll have an upgraded Hindenburg mode that'll accelerate it from 60 miles per hour in 0.2 seconds. To use this mode, occupants must be strapped into specially designed gel-based crash seats and consume a custom drug designed to counteract G-force and prevent aneurysms at least 30 minutes before acceleration. Along with models H, 2, and O, 
Tesla's supercharger network will be phased out and replaced by proteum shake stations, which are hydrogen fuel pumps. If any other manufacturers can be bothered to make them, they'll be available to all hydrogen-powered vehicles. Tesla will also look into using deuterium and tritium hydrogen variants to power future vehicles, a strategy Musk refers to as the new isotope age. In addition, Musk is said to be combating hydrogen's much-discussed inefficiency by using a new yellow version made from genetically modified lemons. So how are Tesla's hydrogen cars going to win over other cars in the market? Hydrogen fuel cars are far better for everyone on the planet than liquid petroleum gasoline or LPG gases. Many different automobile companies worldwide have begun their journey with hydrogen fuel cars. They have even demonstrated that they are far superior to LPG fuel cars in terms of comfort and the environment. Hydrogen and oxygen are separated in a hydrogen fuel car using electrolysis, which generates the necessary power for the fuel. Even solar panels and wind turbines play an important role in compressing and producing hydrogen, which is later used in hydrogen fuel cells. Do you know what one feature of hydrogen cars distinguishes them from all other available vehicles on the market? Hydrogen cars, like electric cars, use electric motors as engines instead of an internal combustion system, which is a fantastic technology for producing combustion and pollution. When we talk about regular fuel cars, we can see that the type of engine they have helps in running the wheels. In electric cars, batteries are the reason for its movement that needs to be charged. But in the case of hydrogen cars, they're the only type of automobiles that can charge themselves using hydrogen available in the fuel and oxygen from the atmosphere, which then combines to form the required electricity to run the vehicle. Even the size of the engine matters a lot in this case. You see, a normal fuel car or electric car has a huge engine because it works as the center of all the functions in the car. Still, in the case of hydrogen cars, the engine is smaller and a better fit than the rest. So even though both the engines function in the same way, the sizes are different. Another reason Tesla hydrogen can compete with every other car in the industry is that hydrogen is less flammable than gasoline. According to the Environmental Protection Agency or EPA, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles or FCVs are similar to electric vehicles or EVs in that they use an electric motor instead of an internal combustion engine to power the wheels. On the other hand, FCVs generate their own electricity unlike EVs, which must be recharged by plugging them in. According to the EPA, hydrogen gas from the vehicle's fuel tank combines with oxygen from the air in a fuel cell to generate electricity with only water and heat as byproducts. According to the EPA, FCVs like electric vehicles are zero-emission vehicles with no smog-related or greenhouse gas tailpipe emissions. Emissions are produced, however, during the production and transportation of hydrogen fuel. While hydrogen is abundant in space, it must be separated from other compounds before it can be used as fuel. This procedure can consume a lot of energy. The amount of emissions caused by hydrogen fuel production is determined by the source of hydrogen and the method of production. Currently, the majority of hydrogen used as a fuel is derived from natural gas. Nonetheless, the EPA points out that hydrogen fuel can also be produced from water, oil, coal, and plant material. While Musk was dismissive of hydrogen's roles in the energy transition, now he's the one creating a hydrogen vehicle under his organization. What do you think of the hydrogen car? Let's know your views in the comments section below and subscribe for more.